Hello, my name is Jeff Feige. Uh, I work for IGEL Technology America. Um, in this video how-to, I'm going to be showing you how to install the F5 VPN SSL plugin on IGEL Linux. Uh, some of the requirements, uh, you will need the Universal Management Suite installed. You will need a, an IGEL Linux thin client. You will need a program to create a tar.bz2 file. Um, in Windows you can use 7-zip which is available from 7-zip.org you will need the F5 plugin files and you will need access to the F5 support document SOL9438 so um, the first thing we're going to do is uh, the first thing you need to do is obtain the two uh, files One, the two files located here or noted here, um, which are noted in the F5 Solutions document SOL 9438. Um, they are available at these two URLs, um, so they come off of your fire pass. Um, and so I've already downloaded them and I am ready to go. So the first thing that we want to do is. Um, create a folder um, that we're going to be putting these in. I've created one called packages. It's here on the desktop. And then we will take these two files and put them into a tarbz file, tarbz2 file. Um, what this will do when it gets pushed down to the thin client, it will become uh, it will automatically be decompressed and put into the slash custom folder at which point we can manipulate these and put them into the proper place on a thin client. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is say 7-zip add to archive. I'm going to select tar. So we're going to create our tar file first. Say OK. And then I'm going to select the tar file. And I'm going to say add to archive. I'm going to select bzip2. And so we now have our tar bz2 file, which I'll put in the packages folder and I will rename to something a little bit more manageable f5 sslvpn.tar.bz2 um, in order to push this out to the custom partition we need a control file so a .inf file uh, which we will create here and we will call it again something similar sslvpn.inf and we will edit this file uh, with notepad++ editor that I prefer in the, when I'm in the Windows environment. Um, the inf file does not really need to contain all that much. Uh, the info section is a requirement, the part section is a requirement, and then um, we're just going to be telling it what the name of the file we want to deploy is. So tar that bz2 and we will tell it the version. Um, so if we increment this version um, the thin client will download it again knowing that we've changed something. So if you get new files from your Firepass, you can change this BZ2, just change the version number, put the new BZ2 up there, and it will automatically download and install the new one. So we're going to save that. Um, and then we are going to create a um, snapshot file source so that the thin client has a place to go get this particular download and we will call it packages and the base path will be the packages folder on my desktop so there we've created that and if you look inside this folder you'll see a web dash inf which means that it's being served up by uh, the Tomcat server inside of the UMS so now we need to go into the UMS and create a couple profiles um, I already have my Linux thin client under management um, you'll see here it's already in my thin clients folder um, and I have a couple profiles here nothing spectacular so we're gonna create three new profiles the first one being a browser profile so we can actually see that the plugin was installed um, it's pretty straightforward we're just gonna create a browser session and we're going to allow us to look at the about config page if we want to and then I'm going to create a custom partition profile we don't need to put profile on we know it's a profile and in this profile we're just going to define the custom partition 
and the size of the custom partition so we're going to enable it and we're going to set the path at slash custom and we're going to make it 15 megabyte and we're going to save that partition now or that uh, profile and we're going to create a new profile we're going to call this one f5 ssl vpn download and in this profile we are just going to define where the package uh, that we just created is located so it will be HTTP protocol uh, the IP address of the UMS server or you can use the short name or FQDN as long as your DNS is set up correctly port 9080 is where most uh, or by default the UMS serves up any of the snapshots and file sources and then we will put in the path to our int file which is packages um, that's the name that's defined that is the name of our file source and then uh, f5 ssl vpn dot inf the username and password are the username and password that i use to log in as administrator to the ums console um, you can define a different user in the acls but that's out uh, that's not going to be covered in this video <clears throat> the initializing action are some bash scripts that will get run when the custom partition mounts at boot um, and what we need to do um, for these initializing actions uh, is noted in this document so we go down here and uh, step 5 they tell us to move this SSL VPN TGZ to the root directory and untar it um, we don't really need to move it to the root directory there's a command switch for the tar command that allows you to put it wherever you want so we will untar it from the custom directory tar xzf custom it's ssl vpn dot tgz and the dash capital c forward slash means put it in the root directory uh, semicolon to separate commands and we will also uh, there is another step here um, they want us to put this npf5 ssl vpn dot so um, I'm going to copy it it's easier than typing it they want us to put that in the uh, plugins directory so we're going to say copy custom uh, that file name to user lib mozilla plugins um, keep in mind even though we push down the tar bz2 to the custom directory it automatically gets unzipped and placed in that directory and these two files that we are copying and untarring were uh, originally in that tar bz2 file um, so that should be it for this and we'll save that and then we will apply all three of these to our thin client and so we'll put the terminal on there too so we can check so you can see they're all over here we will send settings UMS to TC and we will look at our thin client and our thin client should uh, tell us yes I have a new configuration we'll click OK and it should create the custom partition and then it should download the partition data which it appears to be doing and then it will tell us that it's successfully mounted. At this point um, we can reboot the device um, to make sure that it gets initialized properties properly so we will uh, reboot the device from the UMS and let that take effect. Okay now that our thin client has rebooted let's uh, open up a terminal here and see if the files are where they're supposed to be. Um, I know where they're supposed to be, so it looks as if they are in here, um, like they're supposed to be. I think we're okay there. And then we will open up the browser to uh, to see if the plugin shows up.
So type in about plugins in the uh, URL bar and uh, scroll down and see if the F5 plugin is installed. It looks as if it is. Um, I do not have a FirePass to test against, but I'm sure that um, one of you out there will be more than happy to tell me whether or not that it works. Um, once again, my name is Jeff Feige. I hope this was somewhat helpful to you in getting your VPN plugin installed. Um, thank you. Have a great day.